this is one of the interesting transitions in the Book of Mormon because when we get to the Book of Mosiah, uh, we're actually missing some of it. Most scholars will say that Mosiah is jumping into the middle of the story. And so we don't quite know everything that's happening. But to get our context, we actually have to go back to the book of Omni and, mm -hmm. and piece together uh, various things that are happening within the text. And so the context is the book of Mosiah um, is likely named after Mosiah the first, who is the father of King Benjamin. And we read that in Omni chapter 1, starting in verse 12, that Mosiah the first comes to the land of Zarahemla and meets up with the Mulekites, uh, those who had come from Jerusalem about the same time Lehi and his family had left. Uh, and so they settle in Zarahemla and they establish uh, a community there with both people. And he, uh, Mosiah is going to live a full life and then he's going to transition rule of the people over to King Benjamin. And that's where we get thrown in. Uh, is Towards the end of King Benjamin's life, right? Exactly. We get this movement of Mosiah from the land of Nephi into Zarahemla sometime between 279 and 200 BC. When we get to this part of Mosiah, we're already at 124 BC. Okay. And so we've got 150 years of information that's really concise to a few verses in the book of Omni. And so we really don't know a lot that mm -hmm. leads up to this. We know that King Benjamin is taking over for his father. We know that he's fought in numerous wars that have been part of the people, both in Zarahemla and the Lamanites that are around them. Uh, but then we get to the end of King Benjamin's life and he says, oh, here I am. I have some things that I'd like to share. The context that we're looking at here is kind of lost mm -hmm. and uh, may have been part of the 116 pages that were lost by Martin Harris. So we try to do the best with what we have, but we don't really know a lot of exactly what's happening that leads up to these texts. 